Morning all, welcome back to another week on the van. Uh, this week we are aiming to get quite a bit done. We're gonna be doing a lot of housekeeping as well because as you can see from the, uh, the mess in our house, so we need to sort that part of rubbish out there. And then the outside. Um, we're gonna do something with this big piece of wood now, I've got rid of the floor. And then they've got a load of stuff under there. So we're aiming to get the sound deadening done this week and get the first fit of the electrics so the first for the electric, so the cabling through the trunking. Once we've got that done, we can then look at getting the floor and the insulation in. Um, but the main focus this weekend is to get the sound editing done, and then we'll just see what else we get done. We didn't do much last weekend because it was so warm. Uh, it went to about 40 degrees in the UK, um, and it was just unbearable to do any more work. So, yes, let's get cracking. <laughs> So that's all done now and we're looking at a clean haul. I'll uh, flip it around and show you. So you can see we've removed all the wood, put the paper back in the van, got everything lined up with power tools, more tools and then the electrics. Just free up all this space here so we can breathe. We've just got some cardboard to get rid of, the tripod and the steering lock. Now it's time to go and get the sound editing done. So we're finally in the van and we're going to be starting the soundproofing. Now what you'll see previously what I just did is I've just moved this plank of wood. The only reason is because I need something to cut on and these ribs and these floors are quite painful so um where's I? <laughs> I'll decide to finally join us. So um yeah so we're going to be cutting up the pieces of the sound bed then into little strips. I'm going to put two squares on each panel, like light. two squares on each panel, yeah, each strip, and just work our way around and put some on the roof. I don't think we're going to bother with the floor, are we? With the sound bed, Um, no. But we do need something to cut on, so that's why I use this bit of plywood. It came in handy and it gets it out of the house. So yes, let's get cracking. One thing we have noticed is that we've got this it's got some thick bits of bits of rubber so what I'm doing is it's not really ideal with one hand or safe to do but as you can sort of well you can you basically slide your blade down like I've done on here and it takes it off but it does require two hands which I don't think I'm going to be able to do with one maybe not maybe not I'll show you the after basically they come off the strips like that Josh is currently cutting the uh, sound deadening uh, sheets that we've got and then we'll be sticking them on the walls in various places around the van. We haven't got a roller there, that's the only problem. We should just be able to use our hands or well, use, I, I, you can use like, the end of that um, screwdriver just to, to get into the grooves. And then Millie's in the van with us today. Millie! <laughs> she doesn't want to know me at the minute because she's got her dentist sick. So, one thing you'll notice if we just record the sound, it's quite a vibrating sound. I'm just going to stick this on here. I need something just to roll it over, maybe. Use this, that's, that's not much shot, is it? Just flattens it out. but it works. Get these corners in. Yeah, I think we probably do need a roller to be fair. We'll get them one at another point. If we just get the bulk of it up today and then we can um, just roll around get, over it. Yeah, exactly. That's not much that you can do it with this. To be fair, so that's on now but listen. No, it does. It's nowhere near as hollow. It doesn't oh, sound as like tell. it doesn't. Do it again. Without. With. It's a lot deeper. 
Probably needs rolling a little bit more, but... So you can scream bloody murder in here when we're done and no one will ever hear. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> Bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it should be... It should be less uh, echoey anyway, a lot less echoey. Less vibrato. So the reason we've put two longer pieces on this one is because we cut the ribs out, because initially we was going to cut this out for a window. As you can see on that one, that's got the ribs. So the ribs have got PVC, which acts as a bit of sound deadening anyway. So we put two long strips over there, which should give us a bit more flex. I think we might need to do the same on these ones as well. We might need to put some thin strips down there. Yeah. Because they're still, if you listen to the difference. Yeah, that one's a lot softer, isn't it? Yeah, and this one. So yeah. I think we need to put more onto that one as well. Yeah. We got this sand in it from Amazon because the likes of dodo matters a lot. It's quite expensive. So Amazon do this, I can't remember what it's called, but we will link it in. It's um somewhere. Oh it's on here, isn't it? Noiko. Noiko. <laughs> Is it Noiko? <laughs> yeah, Noiko. N O I C O. You can get multiple packs. We've got three packs to cover this, which is going to cover the walls and the floor, uh, the walls and the ceiling. I think it was about fifty pound. Sorry, we've got two packs. It was fifty, fifty something pound a pack. But you get quite a lot. There's three sheets to each roll, so yeah, we should have plenty really to go around. It's just time consuming. But if you're going for like a dodo mat equivalent, there, sound deadening is really expensive. This this, this, it's basically I'd say this is as good as anyway, isn't it? It feels good quality, I like it's, it's nice just, thick stuff. I don't know if it's butyl on the back of it. So I've seen people have used butyl tape at the back. So it's basically anything to give it something to take. Yeah, it's butyl. If you look here, look, it's pretty much the same stuff that you use. It's like a tacky. Like gum, isn't it? Gum, yeah. yeah. Which basically just it basically just takes the, the sound out of the panel. But it works quite well. Absolutely flying through this job. So I seem to take ages in the ceiling. Well, apart from ne nearly done. We've done the sides. They're all done now. One, two, three. We've just got to finish that back bit of the ceiling, and then we've pretty much done it. No, we've got to do all the. Oh, and uh, yeah, all the wheel the arches. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're nowhere near then. done. <laughs> we're nearly done the ceiling. Well, we're making good progress then. That's what I'm trying to say. So Ali's now just doing the wheel arches. Looks like she's resting a ball. <laughs> These are quite awkward to do because it's not flat. So you, there's a there's a lot of bits where you've got to fold it over on itself. So we'll it doesn't look You could cut it out. Okay, we've done pretty much the rest all the way through. And we trimmed down that uh, the light frame. But it's terrible. Fan. Yeah, fan frame. And many more supervising the uh, supervising the work. Doing that ball. So because we had a lot of excess um, sand deadening sheets left we decided just to do the floor so we're just cutting it up and filling any any of like the recessed bits on the floor just sticking a strip in there and we're basically just doing it until we run out. You don't need to do this but with these being rear wheel drive they have the diff so it's for more when we're driving so I say the diff not the diff what is it or is it the diff? whatever turns the wheels on the rear wheel drive it's quite noisy so it sounds like a bus so i'm hoping this will make a bit of a difference it is hard work and we seem it, to well it's, it's not it's just it wears you out getting <laughs> bending down and getting back up we've still got <laughs> two full sheets actually. i think we're gonna have enough we'll probably might do some gap filling on these walls as well 
I don't know. I want to try and use as much as it as possible. You don't need to, but it's all extra weight, so yes, stay tuned. And that's it. We've officially a soundproof floor, walls and ceiling. Not bad, not bad at all. Job well done. Ali's had a few injuries. Cut a finger. But yeah, that's the main bulk of that done. We're kind of running out of things to do until we can get some more stuff. I don't think we've run out of things to do. There's loads to do. It's just well, no, I was thinking we're trying to clear down the stuff we've got. So we've got all the electric cable in. So, do we look at then trunking up there the electric cable? Yeah. We'll run the ignition, say the ignition, the, um, the B2B charger cable. We've got the solar panel cables in. And then we just need to decide where we want USB sockets and... What else other sockets we want? I suppose they're going on the inverter anyway, so that's not a problem, but no. yes, we can, uh, as you can see, Millie's been a needy bitch as always. Has to be with us. No. Just wants to be in the same vicinity, so I think that is our next job. Depending on time, we might do that tomorrow, I don't know yet, let's see. We shall see. Oh, it looks like she's got no interest in doing anymore. It's hard work, isn't it? I'm shattered from just... Bending down and getting back up. Yeah, this was, uh, there's a lot of moving in this up and down and I'm hoping they haven't, well, I don't know the floor, what do you think the floor make much of a difference? Because we can, we can already tell the difference when we're stood inside the van with the echo. Hello, it's hello, a, hello. It's a lot more muted. There's no echo. Yeah, it's a lot more muted. So I think the quote online that someone Ah, uh, listen to this, look. So with, without. Yeah, it's a lot more muted. We've put an extra couple of pieces on here because this, we took the ribs out, but they're pretty good now. So yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's get cracking on the electrics. What are you saying? What are you saying? <coughs> you scared of the camera? So we've gone for next level productivity today. It's now 3.30 p.m. and we've not even started on the van yet. So it's not gonna get much done today, are we? It's half past three and we're only just starting work on the van today, but we have been out and about getting stuff for the van, so it's not been a completely wasted morning. We've been to Wix this morning and we've picked up this one um, insulation board and then Josh managed to find these two on Facebook Marketplace. So I've got a thicker one and a thinner one. Um, but they were quite cheap as well, so it's worth looking on Facebook Marketplace for, um, for stuff like this, because you can always find a bargain. Josh, what's the plan for this afternoon? Not the ceiling and not the floor, as you keep telling everybody. The plan for this afternoon is to put the floor battens down and put the recycled plastic insulation. Go away. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's half past three and we've done nothing on the van. Yeah, but it's hot today. It's not. It's just we're lazy. Yesterday we did all of the sand deadening. So we've applied it all to the van now. And um, the only thing we didn't do was roller it down because we didn't actually have a roller. But we've been to Wix this morning um, and I've picked one up. So my job now is just to go over all the bits that we applied and then just give them a good press on with the roller. I tell you what, if you want to get some exercise in your life, do a van build. Because honestly, all I'm doing is just rolling these bits of sound deadening. But I'm out of breath. It is killing me. Oh. Exciting times because this is the first time we've had the van going. It's really hot in here, so we thought we'd just give it a try. Yeah, first time it's on. What's it doing? It's turning around, putting air in. Let's see what it's like on air in. I'm sweating like an absolute mofo doing this rolling. <sighs> we've just started laying the floor batten, so we've done four lengthways and we've just put this piece of pie over just while these ones dry. Uh, and then now what we're starting on, just going to start putting this recycled insulation across these top sections here. And then we'll work on the, the 50 mil for that section and that section. 
I don't know what we're doing about these back ones yet, I might put 25mm or just some thermo fleece or something on those ones. Yes, that's the latest update. Someone likes the insulation. <laughs> so we're just starting to do the upper wall insulation. We'll be using the dial, um, plas it's, it's this one, plastic um, loft insulation and it's actually made from recycled bottles. Um, we did actually use this on the transporter as well. So when you're doing this, the trick is that you don't want to pack it in too tightly. You want it to kind of remain like this nice thick, sponge. Um, yeah, like cloudy sponge. You don't want it pushed in too tightly because it actually works better when um, it's not restricted. So that's what we're going to do. Put some in all along these cavities and then we'll um, just stuff some in these little bits as well, but not too tightly. But yeah, the trick is just leave it nice and open and uh, allow some room between it so it's not too tight. And if you've got a chihuahua, they absolutely love this stuff because it's warm. <laughs> you like that, don't you, Millie? <laughs> you don't even need to get you up bed now. You can just <laughs> sleep in the insulation. Oh, yeah. that comfy in there that I don't want to disturb her. Oh Minnie, you like that don't you? <laughs> so um because I don't want to disturb the dog I'm gonna open this roll instead. Oh how I've missed using you spray glow. If you've not used this stuff before it gets all over your hands and when you're using this insulation you just get bits of wool, well not wool but you basically just turn it to yeah that was like one spray. That's what happens, it just clogs up on all your fingers. Yeah, you get covered in it, so be prepared. It's probably a bit thick, I think, maybe. I don't know, is it? Not that it's a contest or anything, but here's the side I've done. Lovely and neat. Nice, perfect insulation. And then here's Josh's. There's nothing wrong with myself. Like I said, it's not a contest, but if it was, <laughs> we both know who'd be winning. Maybe because you keep pissing about with the dog. We're just stuffing some little bits into these little holes in the metal, the little cavities. Josh likes this bit because he gets to use his fingers to stuff something into a small hole. <laughs> it's just a bit dry. <laughs> Need some moisture. He says I piss about with the dog when we should be working. Look at the state of this. <laughs> It's boiling, she must be boiling under here. Get off! Stop it! It's not licking me. This is a tried and tested technique. Because it absolutely kills your knees kneeling on the um, the metal floor, get yourself a piece of insulation to kneel on. Oh, it, it's like heaven for your knees. Or just lie down, what I'm doing. That's or, just or, or just do nothing like Josh is. Lying and on leave the dog. all the work to me. What you got? So this is where we've got to with the insulation. We've done all of the top, um, the lower panels, and um, well, apart from that end, I've started down here as well. We've done all of this top area. We'll get one more roll, I think, and then we should be able to finish it off that. But yeah, it's looking like a cloud. It reminds me of, um, did you ever watch Care Bears? No. They used to drive clouds, it reminds me of that a little bit. I think we're going to need probably maybe two more, three more sheets of the 25mm if we're doing the ceiling with it as well. 
Possibly. We're I'd not like to put that Salex on the ceiling. But... We're not sure whether to put some insulation in here as well. I'm not quite sure how we're going to hide that side bit at the minute because I think we've decided that we're going to leave the bulkhead open and then put a shelf in this bit here so it'll come from about there all the way across to there so you've got a nice deep shelf in there that would be a pretty good storage won't use many overhead cabinets will we then no I think we're a bit concerned about weight aren't we yeah well I am yeah you are I don't, I don't care to be honest I've not even thought about it just make sure we, haven't, we don't go over because when we've got water in the tanks yeah full LPG and everything else 